This Solar Hunter PvE build makes endgame content easy. With this build, you'll be able to constantly be radiant, ignite your targets, and have unlimited throwing knives. And if that wasn't enough, with the exotic the build uses, you'll be able to cast your Blade Barrage Super over and over again, allowing you to drop champions, bosses, and any type of ad you can imagine. If you enjoyed this video and the build, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. We are already pushing towards 5,000 subscribers, and I can't thank you all enough. Now, let's hop right into the build. Starting with the two different exotic armor pieces that I'll be using for this build, we have the Shards of Galanor Gauntlets, as well as the exotic legs known as the Star Eater Scales. I have two different exotics attached to this build because depending on the type of content you are in, you will need to switch between them. If you are doing Grandmasters, Dungeons, and Raids, where you are mainly focused on killing a great amount of enemies, the Shards of Galanor Gauntlets are definitely what you want to be using, but for any encounter where you mainly focused on doing as much damage as possible, you definitely want to be using the Star Eater Scales instead, due to their damage increase towards blade barrage. With the shards of Galanor exotic, throwing my final blows decrease the cooldown of your super and also hits and final blows with blade barrage return super energy after the super ends. So as long as you hit most of your super on an enemy or a group of enemies, you will be returned a max of 50% of your super every time, which is insane. Then on the throwing knife side of the exotic, each throwing knife final blow will return anywhere between 2.5 to 5% of our super energy, which is a ton because don't forget, we basically have unlimited throwing knives with this build. That's thanks to the use of our class ability, Gambler's Dodge, where anytime we dodge near an enemy, we will be giving back our throwing knife each time, which is insanely easy to do because us hunters can dodge all the time. And this is only the backup plan because for our first aspect, we will be using Knock Him Down, which makes it so that anytime we get a final blow with our throwing knife while radiant, our knife will be fully refunded, which means when killing lower health combatants, you can throw unlimited throwing knives easily because you can keep proccing this aspect, leading to us recharging our super back at an insane rate. But when it comes to how we will be obtaining our radiant buff, we have a couple different ways. Starting with the first way, we are using an amazing fragment known as Ember of Torches. Powered melee attacks against combatants make us and our nearby allies radiant, aka using our weighted throwing knives which we will have all the time. Then we look over to our artifact and unlock the perk known as Flint Striker. Rapid Solar Weapon and Precision Hits and Rapid Solar Weapon Final Blows will also make us radiant, meaning we have two insanely easy ways to obtain this buff. My favorite solar exotic weapons I enjoy using the proc this artifact perk are the weapon Sunshot or the Polaris Lance due to them both having explosive rounds which lead them to easily killing groups of enemies and they just feel really nice to shoot and are very good. And they are very effective in end game content like Grandmasters as well. But yeah, that's how we're going to have unlimited radiance and throwing knives. Now let's keep looking at the build. Now going back to the aspects, for the second aspect of the build, we have a fun one known as Gunpowder Gamble. Defeating targets with solar abilities, debuffs, and solar weapons will charge up an improvised solar explosion. And whenever you throw this explosion and shoot it in midair, it will ignite in a huge radiance, destroying every enemy in sight. So it's a super great aspect because it's very easy to get this explosive charge and it allows us to practice our sharp shooting skills. Moving on to our grenade, you can really choose between whichever grenade you want because every grenade scorches targets besides obviously a healing grenade, but my favorite one to use is incinerary grenade just because of how easily it kills groups of enemies. Back to our fragments, next on the list is Ember of Tempering. Solar Weapon Fondant Blows will grant us and our allies increased recovery and can be stacked three times. And also, anytime we kill an enemy with our solar weapon, we will create a fire sprite. And fire sprites are amazing because whenever we pick them up, we are granted grenade energy. And since our explosive rounds will be killing groups and groups of enemies, we will be getting an insane amount of fire sprites, meaning we will keep our grenade constantly recharged. Then for our third fragment, we have Ember of Ashes, which just makes it so that we apply more Scorch stacks to targets, more specifically, 50%, which can add up very quickly and lead to targets igniting a lot quicker than usual. And then looking at our last fragment, I chose to use Emperor of Empyrean because anytime we kill an enemy with our solar weapon or abilities, it will keep extending our restoration and radiant effects by 3-4 to four seconds capping out at 12 seconds. So as long as you're constantly killing targets, your radiant effects will never go away, which I think is very important in PvE. So yeah, all these different pieces of the build come together to make this build insane in PvE. And real quick, I will give a little look over of the build so you guys can get a screenshot and copy it yourself. But don't worry, the build link will be in the description, so you guys are all good. You see here, for my abilities, I have Gambler's Dodge, Triple Jump, Weighted Throwing Knife, Incinerary Grenade, and then for my Aspects, Knock Them Down, and Gunpowder Gamble. And then for my four fragments, we have Ember of Torches, Ember of Tempering, Ember of Ashes, and Ember of Empyrean. 
So you can either copy it this way or click in the dim link below. Now going back to our artifact, there's actually a couple more perks that are pretty good besides Flint Striker. We have another one called Kindling Trigger. Radiant causes solar weapons to apply Scorch to Unscorched targets, so a very good one to have on your build as well. We also have Heart of the Flame, which helps nearby allies. By casting our solar super, we grant them all Radiance and increase the damage of our super for each nearby ally, so definitely worth it. And then we have Revitalizing Blast. Causing damage with a solar ability weakens champions and bosses for a short duration. So basically, we will have this for every champion and boss we are fighting because of our throwing knife and our grenade. And then lastly, we have Rays of Precision. While we are radiant solar precision final blows will cause targets to ignite so really these are four insane perks that are on this artifact that all work for solar and are very useful and then for your stats you want to have high resilience and recovery my character has trash stats when it comes to pve but don't worry about that and then have a decent amount of mobility and discipline so you can get your grenade back faster and perform your class ability more often. And for armor mods, this is just a baseline on what I like to use. Obviously, you can change it up however you want. I like to run powerful friends on my helmets with heavy ammo finder and ashes to assets. To gain bonus super energy on my grenade kills since we're going to be throwing grenades so much, this is very helpful. And then for our gauntlets, I like focusing strike. Grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a powered melee attack. So anytime we throw a throwing knife, we will get more class ability. And then one stack of firepower and fastball. And then for my chest piece, I like to run two stacks of reserves for whatever heavy and special I'm using. Then for my boots, I'm running two stacks of absolution. Reduces all my ability cooldowns each time I pick up an orb of power. And since we're really generating so many orbs of powers with this build, this is very good. And I also have a stack of invigoration to reduce my melee cooldown each time I pick up an orb of power. And then for my cape. We have Reaper. Shortly after using our class ability, aka our dodge, our next weapon final blow will spawn an overpower, which is insanely overpowered and honestly the most important mod you can have on your cape because we can dodge so much, meaning we're going to be able to spawn a bunch of overpowers. And also a stack of art reach and bomber. Yeah, this is my complete setup for mods, and you can also see my artifacts here. So if you want to copy those, feel free. But like I said earlier, obviously you can customize this however you want, but for me, this is what I feel like works best. And quickly going back to our subclass and its fragments, if you wanted to switch out Ember of Ashes because you don't really care about the Scorch decks, and switch it out for something like Ember of Searing to get more Fire Sprites, or Ember of Blistering to get more Grenade Energy, then either one is pretty good. Ember of Blistering is very good, because anytime you throw out that Grenade Charge and explode it, you're going to kill a group of enemies, basically getting your Grenade back instantly, so it's really up to you. And also Ember of Wonder is also very good because we're going to be killing so many people with our solar ignitions that we will just be generating a bunch of warps of power, which means we get our super back quicker, which is always very good. But yeah, guys, that is a full breakdown and review of my favorite solar hunter build for PvE. It's very fun destroying all PvE content with our unlimited throwing knives, ignitions, radiance, and supers. I definitely recommend trying this build out and let me know how it goes in the comments below. I appreciate every single one of you. And until next time, my name is Epoxy. Peace.